Now I'm going to show you how the lighting works with the Lucy Mini and how to use the optical filter to make the image brighter or dimmer depending on what you need. The first thing you want to do with the optical filter is to peel the paper off of both sides. It has this brown paper and you just get the corner started, then peel it and it'll come off and if you don't take that off, the um, it's not going to work at all. It's actually going to make your Lucy unusable when you're trying to um, to use it to make the image brighter or to make the image completely disappear. So make sure, very important, paper peeled off both sides of the optical filter. So I'm going to um, show you here, I have my, my phone here. I'm going to just hit record. And now you're seeing what I'm seeing right here in front of me. And so I'm going to just put the camera phone right here into the view hole. And forgive me, it's a little unsteady. Hopefully, I won't give you get you um, you know get you motion sickness from from me trying to do this. But you see the images there, pretty good. You can actually draw it pretty well. This is actually because we have ideal lighting in this situation. You might not even need the optical filter when you're drawing, um, but just to show you what the optical filter does, you go like this. You hold it like right here where you're going to attach it. You can see the effect that it has. And this is what you always do. You always test to see the effect that it has and decide whether or not you want to use it. So the image got brighter right away. But then um, if you put it in the front here, you see the image gets dimmer right away. Because the image is already kind of in a nice place, we don't necessarily need to make it brighter or dimmer. But we will add the filter in just to show you. Go ahead and remove the thumb screw. Then take the filter and place the thumb screw through the hole in the filter like that. Then replace the thumb screw back into the same hole. Right before you give that final turn to tighten it, make sure the filter is straight. Then there it is attached, ready to use. And if you want to um, go back and forth, maybe you want to see the image with the filter to be able to see the, the more detail, then remove the filter to see your pencil marks a little better. Just give the screw a little half a turn, then you can spin it out of your way and use no filter, back around, use it with the filter, and it's easy to just change back and forth in just one turn. And one of the most important things I can tell you about the, about the lighting is that if you look through here without the filter, and the image is pretty bright, you can see your, your, your hand and pencil marks um, just fine, but then you add the filter in, and the image is even brighter, and you just love that rich image, but then maybe you've lost your hand and your pencil marks. You can't see your hand and pencil marks anymore. You're finding a balance. A balance not trying to make the image as bright as possible. Just find that proper balance where you can see your pencil, your pencil marks, and your reflected subject at the same time.